Understanding nonverbal communication, respectful signals in the workplace. Hello learners. In today's lesson, we'll delve deep into a fascinating part of respectful communication, nonverbal communication. While our words hold great significance, our body language, gestures, and facial expressions often speak louder. Let's unravel the mysteries of these silent signals in the workplace context. Nonverbal communication comprises all the ways we convey messages without using words. This includes facial expressions. The face is a powerful communicator. A smile can signal approval, while a frown can express disapproval. Body posture and movement. Standing tall can convey confidence, while slouching may indicate the opposite. Gestures. Think of a thumbs up for good job or a shake of the head for no. Eye contact. Maintaining good eye contact signifies you're attentive and engaged. In the business world, nonverbal cues can make or break relationships and deals. They build trust. Consistent body language can foster trust between coworkers and management. Reinforce or contradict verbal messages. Your words might say one thing, but if your body says another, which will be believed? Regulate interaction. For instance, raising a hand can signal someone to stop speaking or to give someone else a turn. Here are some guidelines to ensure your nonverbal cues are respectful and effective. 1. Be aware of cultural differences. A gesture that's positive in one culture might be offensive in another. 2. Maintain appropriate eye contact. Too little can seem disinterested. Too much can be intimidating. 3. Use open gestures. Closed gestures, like crossed arms, can signal defensiveness or resistance. 4. Mind personal space. Standing too close can be intrusive, while being too far might seem aloof. 5. Mirror the other person. This can create a sense of understanding and rapport. Nonverbal communication is a powerful tool in the workplace, capable of building trust, clarity, and rapport. Remember to always be aware of the signals you're sending, and ensure they align with your words. Until next time, here's to respectful and effective communication.